Right, okay. Oh, I just want to make this video because <clears throat> a while ago I was doing some battery. Uh, <clears throat> I was doing some D DIY battery updates to do with for solar energy. Now, I was cutting open the battery packs. It occurred to me that there might be some people out there that would have accidents. So what I've done is uh, I've put... Now, this is what I've cut open earlier. I just want to show you this battery pack. It's been opened up already. Now <clears throat> the actual lip, the actual thickness of the lip is about, mm, let's just get the rope, this is important by the way because uh, we don't want to start any fires now do we? Now <clears throat> let's get my ruler, it's not very good this ruler but um, actually I don't know if you can see that but uh, I need to adjust the focus on this just a minute. If I can, um, let's get this right. Okay, I think I've got about that right. Now, <laughs> the thickness of these plastic containers is about. Uh, <clears throat> I can get this light up, the light's casting the wrong. Um, it's about, there we go, it's about two millimeters if you see that. The thickness of battery packs is around two millimeters. Now, what I did was I made this little tool. I uh, got a rotary saw off, uh, which I've had for some time. Now, I'm just going to show you this. Now, this is a rotary saw. Right, a mini for a mini drill. Right. Now the trick was cutting into the plastic without going too deep. So what I did was I get a one of these. It's an old pinch roll off an old cassette tape deck. Get yourself an old pinch roll off. I've got plenty of these lying around. Drill a hole, make it bigger so that it will fit down the shaft of the uh, drill. And as you can see, I've already got one on here. Now there you go. I've got a um, little mini circular saw with a rubber wheel on it. And the rubber wheel stops me from cutting too deep. So it makes sure that there's no nasty accidents. Now here's my box. Now, let's see. Put my rubber wheel up against the box. Get this in the right position. You'll notice that the, the wheel actually goes a little bit a little bit further, just a fraction, about a millimetre actually overhang. Well now, you would say, oh well that's going to cut your battery. Actually no, because the batteries are round up again. Now if you look at this pack, you'll notice that uh, at an angle, oh, let's get it around here this way, I'm looking at it long, along the lip. Now you'll notice that the battery pack, the batteries are round, so the actual cutting blade doesn't actually touch the batteries. I've already tested this. Um, let's try this again. Now I'm going to lay my cutting edge on the lip of the plastic. I need to get this still. Um, the light's not in a good place though. Let's see if I can get this light better. Um, if I can. Um, <coughs> actually turn the camera around a bit. Um, now I can't seem to get my drill in now. <laughs> That's better. Now, the actual cutting blade doesn't touch the battery, so if you can see that, there's a gap. So, I'll turn it around a bit. So I made this little tool. Now as long as the lip, this this lip here, isn't a bit further down, because these, these seams tend to be a bit off centre anyway, if you get the seam that's smack down the middle, then I would be a little bit precarious. But because the batteries are round and they're seated in such a way, my uh, cutting blade 
actually is short so it doesn't get anywhere near the battery right so I can safely cut open battery packs now without worrying and without setting fire to the living room <laughs> um, obviously before when I was doing them manually I was having to judge the distance and I thought well this is ridiculous it's a lot of work a lot of work now I've got one here which I've not opened yet I've got a few of these actually and now if you look at that one it's got a seam and it's actually very much off centre the seam actually is here uh, let's see there so I'm going to um, Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm going to open this new pack, which this is going to be tricky because at the back it's got these hooks on and uh, I can't get to the seam at the back very easily. But I don't think I'll need to do because all I really need to do <coughs> is uh, get it so I can get it open. Now, if you watch what I'm doing, if I can get this, it's difficult to do this on camera, it's bad enough when I'm doing it on the table. I have to get in the steam. It will smell a bit because of the plastic. And the rubber wheel tends to drag my cutting along. Help to pull the blade along. I've got to be careful it doesn't jump off on and hit my hand. These things can be can have a life of their own. And uh, as I get older, my hands get shaky. Go. I've gone down one side now I've got to get the top this is very tricky actually I don't know if you've got all that on camera because I can't tell when I'm doing this If I saw that flying, I'd know I'd done something wrong. Right, we've gone down that side now. Obviously, I might have to go over some of it again, but... It's just getting started, really. Down the scene. Right, okay. Now I've cut all the way around that battery pack and we should all we need now is a little bit of help because obviously the, the plastic gets hot and it, 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 it melts a bit so I'm going to use a blunt chisel I'm using a blunt chisel and one right in the corner right in the corner there you go now look at this all live on video how easy that is. I've got it open. 
without a lot of effort. Oh, there we go. And there's the batteries. And quite a clean cut, actually. I mean, uh, it's not made a great deal of a mess. So I can replace the batteries if this was for a laptop. Replace the batteries, uh, reset the power circuit because um, from what I understand, once you take the old batteries out and put new ones in, um, it will appear that the, the circuit's dead. So what you have to do is um, temporarily apply, short the positive output to the positive output on the uh, socket. You have to apply power to the output positive of the socket to activate the circuit again, the actual controller circuit. The best way to do that, and the safest way to do that, is to use a 500 ohm resistor. That way, you're not going to blow anything up. You know, you, if you get the wrong connection, you short positive to negative, you're not going to fry the uh, battery pack. So, uh, <coughs> use a 500 ohm resistor between the positive terminal of the batteries. Ah, oh, that's up here somewhere. It's on the red wire. Some colour codes are different though, but you can't always go by the colour codes, so be careful. Um, the positive end of the batteries are normally the ones with a little groove. There's a little groove. Oh, let's cast the light on it, it'll be at an angle, you might be able to see that. You should be able to see that there's a little, there's a little ring that goes around the positive end, plus the positive end's usually got a little white cap. Now let's just take that out a bit if I can. I can't because it's they're stuck in with double sided tape. But you see, the positive is actually these are marked anyway, it's got positive on it. But as I say, the the way I've got this cover off, it's very neat, straight edge. It's possible to glue that if you wanted to use this in your laptop again, it's positive to positive, it's quite easy to glue this all back together again. So you know, something like you want something strong though if you do that. <coughs> For example, um Evo no not Evo stick, um Bostic or Allodite, something really strong to glue the thing back together. That's if you wanted to use it again in your laptop after replacing the batteries. So anyway, but, but I'm just doing this because I want to re use the batteries for my uh, solar power, but uh, anyway, that's the easy way <coughs> to get into one of these batteries. And notice, notice that um, there's no damage to the cable inside. I mean, this is right here, there's a bit of plastic flared up, um, there's a bit of plastic here. And the red wire underneath it, directly underneath, is not damaged. No damage at all. Yeah, my uh, blade is set just right. Um, let's just hold it up against this one just to show that. Obviously, the wire would have been squished a bit further back, but uh, yeah, my wire's actually gone behind the. It's actually gone behind that wire anyway. But yeah, I could have easily cut that wire by the looks of it, but it hasn't. Because the actual where the plastic is, it's actually just the right thickness. Now when I go down here, it doesn't actually touch the batteries. It doesn't actually touch the batteries, so I'll be able to tell. When I do it up and down, look. Yeah, so it's just set right. So <coughs> the actual distance between my cutting blade and the rubber wheel um, on this particular one, I don't know if I can measure this very fiddly, but um, I don't know if I can even see what I'm doing actually. <laughs> My eyes are not so good these days. I'm actually using a blunt blade, by the way, it's blunt. But for plastic it doesn't matter because it warms the plastic as it goes around and it kind of melts it really. So I'm actually using a blunt cutting blade. It's not particularly sharp. It wouldn't really cut through metal anyway. But, um, yeah, my, my eyes are really bad. I can't uh, see how deep this is. 
it's hard enough to see what I'm doing here without showing it on camera, but I uh, can't really tell you. But Let's see if I can get the angle right, but I'm pretty sure it's about three. Well, actually, of course, I mean, the easiest way to do it is simply to uh, measure when the rubber wheel's up against the battery and move that wire out of the way and when I tilt it it just touches the battery only just when I tilt it towards the battery the blade it just touches it so that proves that I've got plenty of clearance and if I measure this Keep getting my my, my uh, ruler upside down. Um, uh, that looks like three millimeters to me. Can't really show you on there, but it's yeah, that's it. it's uh, that's one, two. Actually, it's four millimeters. Yeah. Sorry about this. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's about four millimeters. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> make sure your blade. Anyway, you can do it yourself. All you need to do is, uh, if you've already got a battery pack opened up, all you have to do is um, make sure that your blade doesn't have much of doesn't really have more than an overhang on the an existing pack you've opened. More than an overhang of about a millimeter, no more, something like that. So that that way you can whiz around those battery packs with your circular saw without worrying, and you can open these packs up really quick. Anyway, I hope that I hope that helps. Because as I say, I don't want anyone to start any fires. <laughs>